Well, hello and welcome back, everyone. I am in the 34 miles per gallon Nissan Versa. And I've got this thing pointed north, and I'm on my way to north central Minnesota. Going to meet up with my friend Brian from Mix Wild Retirement Adventures. We're going to be at his place in about three hours, and then we're going to hop in his truck, and uh, we're going to continue north to his uh, lakefront cabin. So, uh, yeah, going to be there a few days, coming back Saturday. Today is a Tuesday, so we're going to get three good days of fishing in. Some good quality time spent together in the boat, lots of laughs, some good food, so uh, I'll take you along as much as I'm able. So, uh, hang in there with me. Probably not going to do any more filming here on the way up. I got two hands on the wheel. I got the cruise going at 77. Um, we will see you probably when we switch vehicles. Looking forward to this trip. Looking forward to this fishing adventure for sure. Okay, guys, I made her up. It feels so nice, and man, the, the, the aroma from these pine trees, you can tell we're north. Now, this was just our destination for our last evening. We we're going to continue to travel north uh, to Brian's, what he calls his hunting shack, or his fishing shack. And that will be our final destination. We just stopped here to trim some of the time off of our trip. Spend the night. Had a beautiful, wonderful night's sleep. Thanks to Brian. Thank you. Beautiful lodging. But this is, uh, this is his family cabin where lots of great memories have been made. And I could see why. It is absolutely gorgeous, and look at that lake. Look at how perfect it is. Super calm. He said sometimes there's a pike that lives underneath this pier. I see some little bluegill. There, I'll bet you many a good memory and a peaceful evening been had sitting on those benches. I'm going to head on in and uh, have some coffee with Brian. I think we're going to go get a, some breakfast uh, and head on up to the, uh, the fishing shack. Looking forward to it. What a beauty day. I'm going to have to check the forecast. The rest of the week may be getting a little bit nastier, but it'd be good weather for fish and walleyes. So, uh, yeah. Gonna go have some coffee. I can see panfish all over here. I'm not even gonna try to film them because I wouldn't be able to capture them. But, yeah, gonna go get some coffee and uh, we'll see you guys on the road. We'll go say hi to Brian also. Start putting a hat on my hair. Okay, I'm back out here, and it is so far just beautiful. Brian and I are going to pack up, and we're going to go get a little breakfast, and we're going to continue north. And, uh, speaking of Brian, he's standing right next to me. The host, Brian, thanks for having me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no problem. Man, man. We're, we're having a great time. I think we're going to have an awesome time for sure. But uh, it's beautiful up here. You guys, you've told me you've had a lot of great memories. and. I could definitely see that. I could see how that could happen up here. Um, Tons of fun and frolic. Yeah, nice. Mark, we've had so many laughs and jokes at this place and enjoyed it immensely. Awesome. Awesome, man. Okay, I think we're going to uh, hop in the truck. Got a breakfast spot picked out? Yep, yep. What do you think? This little cozy little place. Oh, yeah. those are the best. Greasy spoon? Yep. Right on. Nice. Well, I slept like a baby in there last night. 
beautiful cabin. It's got a this area has a lot of history for Brian's family. Very cool. Looking forward to traveling north. It's a the area we're heading, and I've never been there, so uh, we'll see you on the road. Okay, we have arrived, and it is very cool here. It's like a it's like a little fishing village. Um, we are in the Leech Lake area, fishing that area lake, and uh, Brian has a really nice setup here. This is what he calls the fishing shack right here. And it is anything but. But it's very cool. He's back here on a canal. And I believe it's an 1875 Lund guide. It might be a little wrong here. Let's we'll take a look. I'll hop up here. The walkway. porch area but Brian keeps his boat right here in a canal and we are unloaded and I would imagine we're gonna go fishing pretty soon he's got the lawn underneath the tarp beautiful setup a little bit newer than my lawn scout this is what the old scout would look like all grown up Yep, 1875 Pro Guide, which in retirement, Brian may dabble with. So, uh, yep, we're here. Probably get changed into some appropriate fishing gear, and uh, we'll see you out on the lake. Maybe I'll give you a shot of the inside of the fishing shack. Okay, this is home sweet home for a few days, and it is really cool. I love the love the knotty pine interior and it does smell. It smells like it's freshly constructed. It's really cool. It's gonna be very comfy, man. Down here in my bunk. Here's where I'm gonna be residing. Brian's room down here. You have a beautiful place here, Brian. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for the invite. We're going to have a riot. Yeah, it's uh, my little fishing shack, man. It's where I love yeah, to come and wow. fish. It's, it's beautiful. I think this is the best shack I've ever been in. <laughs> Dumb luck, man. Dumb luck. But I'm, I'm going to change into some proper fishing attire, and uh, we'll probably get after it not too long, huh? Right on. Let's go. All right. Except I might. Brian looks a little bit overdressed. Do you guys think so? <laughs> you think it was freaking April or March or May? Or May. Uh, he's from around here. I bet you he knows what he's doing. That's them right there. Got a nice walleye drift going right now. Dragon jigs on the bottom. Brian and I each got a perch and a line in the box. So this is there. The tradition is to keep the first fish. We're trying to check over a pot of walleyes and see what happens. So 
hoping it broke his line. It's a nice looking walleye. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Nice. Hey, good morning, guys. It is day two of our adventure. Yesterday, we were, we were finding some fish, but we were really dealing with some high seas. It might be some of the largest waves I've fished in. Thank God for the good, safe boat that Lund puts out. Best boats in the world, if you ask me. So, uh, we're getting suited up here. Uh, we were going to go out at 5 in the morning and do a little fishing. But we heard the pitter-patter on the roof. And uh, we had plans on meeting up with a friend of Brian's. His name is Steve. He's nice enough to take us out today. So we're going to meet up with him in about a half hour. We're going to hop in his Lund, aren't we? Yep. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, we're about getting ready to head out the door. We're going to go get some poles ready and uh, hopefully get some good footage. Uh, we got some fish on camera yesterday. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of wood, wind noise in that video. Um, we'll see what we can do. It's been a great time so far. I'm really enjoying myself here in northern Minnesota. Um, hopefully put some more fish in the boat today and uh, the weather is better. It's wet. It is wet outside, but uh, we have rain gear. Yes, I'm going to focus. We've got the rain gear. Don't mind getting wet. Uh, put our stuff in a dryer last night and helped us out a bit. So uh, we're going to go fishing for a few hours, and I think we're going to come back here and have fish sandwiches. So we'll get the, that process on video for you guys. So I'll take you along. We're going to go meet up with Steve. Looking forward to it. Trying to just, and I wasn't trying to hold it. I was trying to drift across it. And it also, I don't know what you have to look at. It's a damn dirty. Put them in the net or not? Before you snapped you off. Oh, shit! I don't know. You put northern in your plan? Oh, you go. I didn't hear any. Ten dollars to bring in the northern in the boat. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice perch. That one too. Well, there's nothing wrong with those. A nice little fish sandwich. All right. Beauty. This this is for you, Sue. Love it. A nice pike. She's over 10. Yeah, good looking fish. Yeah, she's 10. I'd say close to 12. She's heavy. Yeah. So. Good looking, healthy pike. Yeah, we'll put her back. Yep. Half inch perch. Beautiful perch, man. Yeah. 13th stay easy. Easy peasy, brother. He's over 13, 13 and a half inches of the squeeze tail. Got it. Miscellaneous Brian footage here. We ran into some nice perch in this spot. Lots of them. Yeah. All right. Go 
no more. Self nice. filming. Nice bird. <laughs> Ooh. Beauty. Look at the size of that. Look at this bird. thick. <laughs> we are on these. We're picking them late in the day. Whoa. He's spawning, man. He's milking all oh, over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Got him. Thank okay. you. Nice work, man. Very aggressive net job. Very impressed. <laughs> yeah. Camp camera. Boy, I just had him hooked. Look how I had him hooked. I was just going to say. When I caught that perch, we weren't marking any fish, and that just happened with that walleye. We weren't marking him right then, were we? Yep. Oh, I just got some action. Yeah, nice perch. There you go. Another perch. Borderline. Oh, borderline. I think I'll let that one go. We got enough perch. Okay, man, that's cool. Let him grow. Yep. We'll nice work. There. Still a lot more out there right now. Okay. Again, we'll mark. we've done well on perch, so this guy's going to go to. We'll let him grow up a bit. Whoops. See you, little guy. Fun to catch. Well, we had a good evening. We're going to call her heading back. That away. Alright guys, it is Friday, our last day. Brian and I just got to a spot that the screen is on fire. I just got on the board with a decent eater. And Brian got a, a little bit better decent eater. This is great, man. Let's get him in and keep doing it, huh? We're on him, man. up again. Feels good? Yeah. God, you got here quick. He's in. Nice one, man. Nice job. Like perfect. I got one out here. I got one. Really yeah, here. Mark. Mark's on the board. Oh, he feels good, Brian. I, I can nut him, though. Oh, yeah. I got nut that. Still in the net. Hold on. Okay, we'll double net. I've done it. But the, the hook's in the net. I want to try to hoist them. I gotta show you how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't have much confidence. Okay. We are actually leaving because this loon is chasing our bait. He's under the water here. He's going to come up. He's going for our jigs. Aren't ya? We have to leave because of this loon. We throw a jig out and he comes after him. Beautiful creature. But a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
first cast on the perch hole. We just got back from where we were fishing last night. First cast, nice little keeper perch. Nice. Good, good snack for lunch. Nice. We just uh, we just stopped because that loon kicked us off of our spot. So let's get out there and get some more. It's kind of the way it was yesterday. We're not seeing the fish on side imaging, but they're there. Is something there now? Yeah. All of them? Uh, I think so. We'll find out in a second here. Sue, I need to get one of these <laughs> hummingbirds. There's more out there. Nice, nice perch. Okay, we're gonna do a mix wild retirement adventures traditional family fish fry. Tell them everything you're gonna make for us again. We are gonna have walleyes for lunch, fresh walleyes we just caught mm -hmm. two hours ago. Yep. We are going to have onion rings, Whoa. seasoned french fries. And what I do first is I will do the seasoned french fries because it seasons the oil. Hmm. So we have some virgin canola oil there that I'm going to use. I'll season it with the seasoned french fries and then the onion rings. We'll put those in the oven on low and then cook the fish. Wow, beauty. Yeah, and we'll also have a Caesar salad along with it. <laughs> wow. That is my family's traditional shore lunch. So we're going to do meat, potatoes, and a vegetable. That will Perfect. Keep, that will Honey, are you listening? Sue, very happy. All right. Right on. It's looking awesome, Brian. It's going to be tasty. Can you eat 20, let's see, 12 pieces of walleye? Yes, I can. All right. I'll believe okay. it when I see it. We'll see you at the next step. Here we go, last bit of onion rings. Looking beauty. Yeah, there goes the fish. Look what we got going so far. The fish have been added to the rings and fries. It's looking fabulous. All right. This is our traditional fish fry. Ah, oh, voila. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. so you got seasoned french fries, crinkle cut, onion rings, fresh fish out of the lake today. Um, are we inviting the neighbors over? <laughs> Look at these oh. Caesar salads. I made the Caesar, Caesar salads, by the way, guys. <laughs> Hope they're good. Ryan, thank you again. And thank you for everything. It's been an awesome trip. Really enjoyed myself here. That's great. So with Fun that, fun. with Fun that, and yep. Fun and laughter. Yep. With that being said, let's dig in. Woke up to a chilly morning. It's 40 degrees at the cabin. Not too far above freezing. It is Saturday and we are on the way home. We uh, stopped at Brian's lower cabin for the night and uh, very shortly we're going to be heading back. And I'm going to be loading up and heading back to my sweetie. Had an awesome trip, but I am looking forward to seeing my baby again. I want to thank Brian for all his hospitality. Just had a super time. Super time. Can't wait to return. Okay, guys. 
that is going to be a wrap for this video. We'll see what kind of footage I ended up with. Um, had a great time. Again, once again, thanks to Brian and thanks for his uh, wife Lori for uh, letting me borrow him for a few days. It was a great trip. Um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Brian's good friend Jake. I believe Jake turned Brian onto my channel and Jake, I want to thank you for doing that. And I want to thank you for supporting my channel as well. So, um, Brian and I were talking about it. Hopefully when we do this again, Jake, I hope you can join us. I heard a lot of good things about you, man. So uh, again, thank you. I'm going to sign out from beautiful, sunny Minnesota. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support.